There's not a lot of conversation about the disadvantages of being attractive. One, as a woman, you will have a hard ass time making friends. I've met people who gravitate towards me because I'm attractive because they think in proximity they will get some of my privileges. I've had friends that cut me off out of the blue for literally no reason. I have friends that have told me to humble myself. It's gonna be hard to date. I've met men who just want to be with me to be a trophy. I've had boyfriends who have not been able to deal with the amount of attention I get and therefore take it out on me. I've been stalked. I've been followed home. I've been stalked by ex-boyfriends. I've been groped. I've been graped. I've been assaulted. I've been through a lot because I'm attracted. It's not for the weak. And when people talk about pretty privilege, yes, I will get a free meal. I will get free entry. I will get preferential treatment. A lot of times I don't have to pay for stuff. That's great. But I wouldn't say it's comparable to the amount of detriments being attractive has put me in. Lord knows I'm very grateful that my mother picked an attractive sperm donor that gave me this face, but it has definitely made life a bit more challenging. When you are an attractive person, especially an attractive woman, you will need to walk around and protect yourself physically, mentally, everly from everyone because they will be attracted to you. They will be coming for different reasons and you're going to have to be able to keep them away. As a woman who's attractive, you need to learn how to defend yourself. I am in the gym five times a week getting strong as fuck in case somebody walks up on me they don't get you need to learn how to read people you need to pay attention to your surroundings you need to not get gas late at night you need to be on your p's and q's and you need to be extremely intelligent i once had someone pretend to be a business sent me an email saying that they would fly me and my brand i have a swimsuit line to another country to do a photo shoot everything seemed extremely legitimate they even sent photos of other women that will be attending the event they fucked up because one of the women in the photos is someone I know. I messaged them. They had no idea what I was talking about. This pervert was trying to lure me out to another country to do God knows what with me. This is what you get for being attractive. pretty girl club so in today's video i wanted to go over the pros and cons of pretty privilege being pretty is like being a rich man right i like to say more pretty more problems the more more pretty more problems more money more problems more pretty more problems you have to deal with let's see what a rich man has to deal with he has to deal with fake people fake friends He's more than likely to get robbed or assaulted. His personal space is likely to get more invaded. Um, what else do we have in common? People assume that you're always good. You're fine. You don't need anything. When behind closed doors, you're probably very lonely and really going through it. Hence, you're probably feeling alone because people think you're good and nobody really checks on you. But but let's go over some of the pro positives, the pros and the cons of pretty privilege, right? So, more job opportunities. Being a pretty girl, you're more likely to get approved for a job. You're more than likely to get a raise quicker. You're more than likely to get paid uh, more money up front. You know what I mean? You're considered the popular girl. You're the popular girl wherever you go. You have the halo effect, which means you can get away with more. So for me, I've gotten pulled over by the police so much. I've gotten pulled over so many times, but I only remember actually getting one ticket. And one time when I actually went to court for it, 
the judge, he let me off the hook. I don't know if it was veterans privilege. Maybe that's what it was. Because they saw I was a veteran. It could have been that. I don't know. But they saw me on camera and everything. We were watching the footage. And the judge was just like, just promise me you won't do it again. And I said, I won't. And he let me go. <laughs> I had run like a red light or something. And he was just like, promise me you won't do it again. And I said, I promise. And he just let me go. Maybe it was veterans privilege. I don't know. Even the tickets. I don't know what to put that on either. The warnings for that matter. You have a higher chance of getting picked as a pretty girl. Picked for things. You have more access to things. You get more access to clubs, VIP sections, things of that nature. People are more than likely to invite you to places. You get the celebrity treatment. Everybody wants to get to know you. Everybody. You're the popular girl. People tend to treat you better when you're attractive. People want to help you more, way more than you need help with. <laughs> you get free stuff. Um, how much do I owe you? It's okay. It's all the house. Really? I've gotten a lot of free stuff. People have paid for my entire grocery basket before. <laughs> and then coddling. I don't know if coddling should be a pro, because I don't like coddling that much. I actually really don't like it. But I put coddling in the category. But now we're going to go into the cons of pretty privilege. People underestimate how smart you are. A lot of people think that because you're pretty, you've gotten to where you are because of how you look, which can be true. But that doesn't mean you're not smart either. People automatically assume you're not smart. Hillary is an example of that stereotype. You tend to be more lonely because people assume you got all this attention. You don't really need any more attention, but everybody's thinking the same thing. <laughs> so you really don't have friends, right? Or people are intimidated by you or People are envious of you secretly or openly. <laughs> or people don't want you to be around their boyfriends, so they don't invite you places. Or they don't want you to outshine them, so they don't invite you. You're not invited to the table. You can't sit with us! You're more than likely to get bullied. You get bullied more harshly because people think your self esteem is alright. You're invincible because you're attractive. You're not a human being. You don't have emotions. So, people throw out the big punches more. More, verbal, more. We get more verbal abuse. More. We're more than likely to get in situations where envious people can harm you. Because jealousy is a jealous, is a dangerous emotion. A very dangerous emotion. We gonna tell what's real. I'ma tell my part, I'ma tell her part. You feel me? She ain't got no part to tell. She ain't got shit to tell. You, you can't justify me looking like this, bitch. I'm your blood sister, bitch. We come from the same mama, same daddy. Ain't no way in hell you comfortable with throwing acid in my motherfucking face in front of my baby and my, and my niece and my nephew, cuz. Make it make sense. This model went from looking like this to this and you'll never guess what happened. While Katie's career as a model and TV host was taking off, she was dealing with a dark secret. One of her ex-boyfriends continuously stalked her through her social media. It started as a weird obsession, but quickly turned into physical threats. He told her he was gonna ruin her by taking away her face. Katie was scared, but she never suspected what would happen next. When she was walking home one day, she saw a ragged looking man on the street. When he came close, Katie started looking through her purse. She simply thought he was gonna ask for money. And that's when her entire life changed. When she looked away, the man took out a bottle and splashed it on her face. People materialize you a lot when you're pretty. Dudes only date you just to flex to their homeboys. Or friends only want to be their friends so you can be a magnet for them. Or gay people, they want to study you. What else has happened to me? So many things. I've always felt materialized. I've always felt like... 
I always felt like people just wanted me to be around them just so they could flex and say they know and say that they know me. People always trying to humble me. Like I need to be humbled. <laughs> I'm already a people pleaser. Like I don't get it. Like I need I don't really don't need to be humbled already. <laughs> like I'm nice enough. You know what I mean? Even for myself. I tend to humble myself. Around I'm around others, especially when they're around their boyfriend. If I'm around a female who has shorter hair than me, I try so hard not to twirl my hair or make my hair move. If I'm around, you know, if I'm wearing my hair down because I don't want them to try to, I don't want them to think I'm trying to be cute. Girl, I was reading some of my comments and y'all, the topic was on jealousy, right? And how you know, how women can be basically, right? And some of y'all were just like, you know, oh, you know, I, I damn my light when it come to other women cause I get so tired of them and things of that nature, right? Girl, why would you do that? Why would you dim your life for an armadillo with a sewing in? You dimming your light for a bitch who walk around smelling like kind candy fantasy. You really dimming your life for a basic Betty. Sweetheart, if the girls are stressed, if the girls are stressed, sweetie, if the girls are stressed, then you're doing your job. You're doing your job. I'd rather be me than them. I would rather be me than them. Y'all, no ma'am, mm-mm. Being a part of Rouge World, we don't dim no lights over here. Let me tell you something, sis. When it comes down to a woman, her insecurities, a bitch got three options. I love options, and so my enemies have options as well. Yes, my haters have options. And when it comes down to a woman who's a hater, if my light is too bright for you, you can find an umbrella, some shade under a tree, or you can choke. You can choke. You can choke. Sweetheart, it's so simple. Because who's about to stop? Who's about to stop? And half of y'all be influencing the girls anyway. They can't stand you, but since they wish they could, baby, they wish they could be you so bad. Half of these hoes really don't want to live in their own skin. They really want to live in yours. So you about to do what? You about to stop what? I love y'all, but we need to get it together, honey. We're not, we, we need to get it together. Being fine, child, it, it, it comes with a lot of BS. But you know what? I'd rather be me than them. Because at the end of the day, I'm going to always have them in the chokehold. Always. Always. I'm going to always have them in a chokehold. When you that girl, you that girl, sweetheart. Put that makeup back on. Beat that face. Have that hair right. Put that smell good on. Because at the end of the day, I would rather for you to be you than them. Nope, today is not Wednesday. But we're definitely in pink. Little subtle stuff like that I would do. Like stand more masculine if I'm near a female with her boyfriend so they don't think I'm trying to show off or be fast or whatever. A lot of dudes assume I'm a Jezebel. I have so much cons, y'all. I'm so glad I started this channel though, y'all. Because I have so much to talk about. Subscribe to this channel, y'all. <laughs> I have so much to say. But yeah, I just wanted to get on here and talk about the pros and cons of pretty privilege. Because it's either all good or it's all bad. And when it's bad, it's bad. It's life-threatening bad. But when it's good, it's good. It's all right. There's levels to it. There's levels of pretty privilege. Some of us have more than others. That's just the society that we live in, unfortunately. And everybody has some type of a privilege. Whether that be pretty privilege, whether that be wealth privilege, education privilege, 
veterans privilege cis privilege we all have some type of a privilege the privilege to pass and with privileges there's levels to it with privileges there's levels to it privileges come in degrees so you could think of a bunch of people grouped up in a line about to order some subs right and so there's only a few subs left let's say they only have 10 subs left and like five che- pieces of cheese right the people in the front of the line are more than likely to get cheese on their subs than the people in the back so the people in the front are more likely to get a whole sub versus the people in the back so the people in the front have more privilege you understand that's kind of what i mean when i say there's levels to it and so I don't realize you have pretty privilege until somebody acknowledges it, it for you. I've always had it, but I didn't know it was. I didn't know it was pretty privilege because I thought all girls got treated like that. Honestly, who they all? I thought all girls got treated how I was treated. You know what? You know. And so until until I got older to notice that people treat me and my sister different. <laughs> Me and her, that's going to go into a featurism, and I'll talk about that in another video. But I started to slowly see a lot of people, a lot of women aren't getting the same attention. And as I got older and hit puberty, that's when I really started to notice what privilege, privilege was all about. I was just like, well, because I was, because men was always attracted to me, all races of men, all races of men, all ages of men, dusties, you name it. And so even as a child, I remember growing up. I remember grown-ups always coming up to me and saying how pretty I was. But I was too young to understand the difference between how I was being treated versus how others were being treated. But the idea of privilege is to... You don't realize you have it until somebody acknowledges it. There's times where I feel like I've actually lost my privilege, pretty privilege. Like when I was homeless, for example. I'll do that story time in another video. But yeah, I was homeless y'all for like three months. I was so homeless y'all. I was struggling to buy feminine products. Like it was really bad. But we'll talk about that y'all. But yeah, you don't know you have a privilege until it's gone. <laughs> or somebody acknowledges it. Unfortunately, skin color plays a factor in how people perceive how you look. Which shouldn't be the case. I've always wanted to make a change when it comes to stuff like this. I used to have a whole colorism channel on TikTok. I made it to 30,000 subscribers. Because I've always wanted to help people in general. But it just seemed like when I tried to help the unambiguous space, they didn't They didn't want to hear it. I'm not dark enough. Um, I really wanted to help women's self-image like real bad. But then, you know, it, I found the Exoticals community and I felt like I could relate more to it. So I know I could talk about it more because I have the experience. I couldn't relate to the unambiguous experience, but I could definitely empathize. But here I feel more accepted. I feel more safe. I feel like I won't get bashed for speaking my voice. I just feel safe in general. I just feel safe in general in the Exoticals space. And we could talk, we could talk about what we're going through without feeling guilty. For once, I don't feel guilty for being attractive. I don't feel ashamed for being born for how I look. I know it's not me. It's other people's projections when they try to gaslight. When people make you seem like you're not as pretty as you are. I'm going to make a video soon on signs that you're more attractive than you think you are. But yeah, y'all, I don't want this to be too long. Thank you guys for listening, and I will see you guys in the next video. You always the prettiest girl in your class. No, I was very shy and a little awkward. You were? Yeah, I have really big ears that are covered right now. Yeah. And that's uh, that's on purpose. Yeah. Um, and, you know, I was chubby and, yeah, I had my time. I was really shy. Okay, so things have worked out for you. <laughs> Did your kids ever make fun of you? Yeah, they made fun of my ears. They put pillows over my ears. <laughs>